spend a moment or two touching upon the contentious events in Washington of recent weeks. Uh, I will not criticize the political branches. We do that often enough in our opinions. <laughs> but what I would like to do briefly is emphasize how the judicial branch is, how it must be, very different. I have great respect for our public officials. After all, they speak for the people, and that commands a certain degree of humility from those in the, of us in the judicial branch who do not. We do not speak for the people, but we speak for the Constitution. Our role is very clear. We are to interpret the Constitution and laws of the United States and ensure that the political branches act within them. That job obviously requires independence from the political branches. The story of the Supreme Court would be very different without that sort of independence. Without independence, there is no Brown versus Board of Education. Without independence, there is no West Virginia versus Barnett, where the court held that the government could not compel school children to salute the flag. And without independence, there is no steel seizure case where the court held that President Truman was subject to the Constitution even in a time of war. Now the court has from time to time erred and erred greatly. But when it has, it has been because the court yielded to political pressure. As in the Korematsu case, shamefully upholding the internment during, during World War II of Japanese American citizens. Those of us on the court know that the best way to do our job is to work together in a collegial way. Now I'm not talking about mere civility, although that helps. I am instead talking about a shared commitment to a genuine exchange of ideas and views through each step of the decision process. We need to know at each step that we are in this together. There is a concrete expression of that collegiality in a tradition at the court that has prevailed for over a century. Before we go on to the bench to hear argument in a case, and before we go into the conference room to discuss a case, we pause for a moment and shake each other's hand. It's a small thing, perhaps, but is, it is a repeated reminder that, as our newest colleague put it, we do not sit on opposite sides of an aisle. We do not caucus in separate rooms. We do not serve one party or one interest. We serve one nation. And I want to assure all of you that we will continue to do that to the best of our abilities, whether times are calm or contentious. Thanks very much. Thank you. Okay, good. Thank you.